Shalom, Thawada, Yahweh Bash, Mavoshai, Baha Shamrakakodash, for giving us the understanding of the Holy Bible through their men, that being the apostles and bishops of Great Millstone, who are worthy of double honors, and Yahweh Bash, Mavoshai, Baha Shamrakakodash, Prakatham, to the elect of Israel. So I'm looking at Zechariah 9 and verse 12, and it reads, Turn you to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. And um, the reason why I'm bringing this scripture out is because, quite frankly, you know, I've been very uh, down and low in the spirit. And... Um, <laughs> I feel like I've been going out of my mind, going nuts, and this is the first scripture that comes to mind. And um, you know, as I was meditating upon this scripture, I thought to myself, you know, why not just speak upon this one verse and uh, hopefully edify the body, okay? Because I'm sure I'm not the only brother out there that is feeling this way, you know, and. At times, you know, this happens, you know, where you feel like you're going out of your mind. Um, <laughs> you, you literally feel like you're in prison, like you're in a hole. <laughs> in which, um, to an extent, we are, you know, we're, we're prisoners of hope indeed, you know, just as our forefathers were, okay, such as, you know, the Apostle Paul. I know the Apostle Paul spoke about being um, a prisoner of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, and um, the rest of the men of the Lord, right? The servants, the prophets of Yahweh Bashmah Shai. They all felt this way, okay? And, um, you know, this is a spiritual and mental prison that we're in, and we're also, you know, trapped in this wicked flesh, okay, to make matters worse. And so this is why um, our Lord, you know, via our forefather, the prophet Zechariah, is telling us to turn unto the stronghold, okay, in which the stronghold is this truth that we have, okay, this wisdom, this knowledge and this understanding of the Holy Bible, okay, uh, concerning who we are as a people, all right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, us being the Hebrew Israelites, and more importantly, concerning our power, our God, right? The God of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whose name in the ancient Hebrew is Yahweh. okay? That's the name of the Heavenly Father. And we serve and worship the Heavenly Father, Yahweh via His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, the beloved Yahweh Shai, okay, and that's where the true stronghold is at, knowing and understanding those names, as is written in Proverbs 18 and verse 10, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, okay, a place of refuge, a place of shelter, you know, a place of safety, a stronghold, if you will, a fortress, <laughs> yes, indeed, the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run into it and is safe. Okay. And Lord willing, the righteous is speaking about us brothers and you sisters out there, right? The members of the hopeful elect of Israel. Those of us that sincerely believe in Yahweh Bashma Shai. Uh, Lord willing, we're those righteous Israelites that you know run off into the name of our lord you have bashmal shai and find safety okay and this is why it's important to meditate upon those names all right because it actually does bring peace it brings safety it brings fear you know a healthy form of fear and we know um, the beginning of wisdom is the fear of our lord and it also brings a healthy sense of hope, okay? Hope in those names, in which those are the names that 
we call upon as the hopeful elect of Israel. And knowing the name of our Lord also brings a great deal of understanding which translates into stability. Because take for instance, when you meditate upon the heavenly father's name, Yahweh, you know, the name Yahweh in the ancient Hebrew means he is, or he to be, he exists. And again, that brings stability, just knowing that ultimately everything that's happening in your life, in the world, okay, within this truth is all orchestrated by the heavenly father, Yahweh. And that's supposed to bring a peace of mind. You know, that's, that's supposed to make you stable, knowing that ultimately the Lord is in control, okay? And we serve a righteous and merciful power. And we also find comfort in the name of his only begotten son, our beloved Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, which means he deliverer, okay? And why do we find comfort in that? Well, we find comfort in that because we know that our Lord, Yahweh Shai, is about to make his return, okay? And we understand according to Matthew 24 and verse 31, upon our Lord's return, he's going to gather his elect, okay, from the four winds of the earth. So all the brothers and sisters out there that are scattered throughout the world, whether you be in America, Central America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, the Pacific Islands, Australia, so on and so forth. Those of us that are diligently and sincerely seeking Yahweh Bashmael Shai, you know, we're patiently waiting for our Lord to deliver us, okay? Deliver us from this hellhole that we're in, from this prison that we're in. Again, the prison really first and foremost starts within our mind, within, you know, our spirit, because our spirit is trapped in this wicked flesh. You know, our, our, our wretched body, <laughs> which is inherently wicked, which is subject to sin, which is subject to pain, which is subject to depression, you know, subject to all things negative. And then, of course, we're, you know, in captivity still underneath our enemy, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. You know throughout the world and so we're hoping that you know, upon our Lord's return he will find mercy in um, delivering us man that's our hope and this is why it's written again in Zechariah 9 and verse 12 turn you to the stronghold ye prisoners of hope all right and indeed we are prisoners of hope man you know we're trapped yet we're free because as our Lord said in the book of John, chapter 8 and verse 32, uh, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Okay, so, you know, the Lord has been merciful enough to give us this truth. And so we are spiritually free, you know, having the wisdom, knowledge and understanding of the Bible. And with that great blessing, you know, it's our job that we continue in this marathon that we're involved in this spiritual race that we're involved in until the very end in hopes that we'll find mercy upon Yahweh Shai's return okay in which again we understand that Yahweh Shai is gonna deliver the elect of Israel according to Matthew 24 verses 30 to 31 and so we're praying and hoping that we'll find mercy in the sight of our Lord upon his return, okay, that will be delivered uh, during that time. So the Lord goes on to say, even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. And those are very comforting words too, because pretty much that's our Lord um, promising the elect of Israel that he's going to bless them. Okay, he's gonna bless them twofold, hundredfold, as uh, Yahweh Shai said in what's that Matthew 19 and verse 27. You know, concerning Apostle Peter's query pertaining to us brothers and sisters that 
you know, are following Yahweh Shai, you know, in the regeneration in which we're, we're actually in that time right now where, you know, we've been called and Lord willing chosen to follow Yahweh Shai until the very end. And upon the Lord's return at the very end, you know, in the midst of destruction, in the midst of World War Three, in the midst of those nuclear missiles being shot and launched, that our Lord will uh, deliver us, okay, and you know we'll inherit the the blessings of the first fruits, okay. You know, so you can use that scripture, Matthew 19 and verse 27 on down, as a point of reference concerning um, our Lord. Uh, rendering double unto the elect of Israel, okay? Anyway, with that being said, you know, I want to keep this lesson brief. Again, this is just a scripture that was on my mind, on my spirit, that I want to bring out for the edification of the elect of Israel. To any of you brothers and sisters out there that may have been feeling the same way, you know, I pray that this lesson, this video, you know, um, was comforting and edifying unto you. Yahweh Bashman, Shai Bashman, Kakodash Brakatham, Shalom.